There are many statements, slogans, and cliches about life. Living one day at a time. You only go around once. Life's a beach. I'm living life. But are they? Someone described man's life by a bumper sticker. Life is short, and then you die. Have a nice day. Though meant to be humorous, it could be rather depressing to those who don't know where they will spend eternity. What's life all about? Who am I? What am I doing here? And where am I going? Just how are you living life? On purpose? With purpose? Are you living in light of an endless eternity? Or are you living just for today? Why did God create man? We're not a cosmic experiment a knight or a pawn in an eternal cosmic game of chess. No, man is the reason God created the world. We are the objects of his highest affection. A doctor being interviewed on Focus on the Family startled most of the listeners when he said, the first sign of a heart attack in most people was not pain in the arms or shortness of breath, but death. The latest statistic, and these are taken from a 6,000 year sample, show that out of every 100 people, 100 die. No one escapes the curse of death. Our lives are in the hands of someone, not something, like fate. Many people are just one month from death, some only a day, and others only an hour. The sad thing is most don't know it. Death rarely gives advance warning. The average lifespan today is 77.7. If you are just 19 years old, you have already statistically lived one-fourth of your life. And if you have reached 39, sorry, your life is half over. And if you have reached 58, statistically, you only have 25% of your life left. Our short life here on earth is just a proving ground that determines where and how we will spend eternity. To think the average person spends nearly 25 times more time watching TV than the time he spends with God. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. God says we need to redeem the time. People often say, I'm just killing time. But in reality, it's killing them moving them inconspicuously closer to their appointment with death. C.S. Lewis said, to step out of God's will is to step into nowhere. God's will is exactly what you would choose if you knew all the facts. Mankind seems to have lost touch with eternity. The vast majority is so caught up in this brief life on earth following temporary pursuits that they have scheduled God out. Of the top 10 New Year's resolutions for 2006, nothing about God even made the list. Without God, life has no purpose. And without purpose, life has no meaning. Without meaning, life has no significance or hope. The greatest tragedy is not death, but life without purpose.